This is Bitmaker's Nerd Version Minor 2. So I saw this interesting device all over Twitter and I wanted to get my hands on it. First of all, before we even get started, I just want to be clear that you're probably not going to ever make anything using this device. This is a solo miner and if you actually hit a block, it's like winning the lottery. Here's a look at the odds of actually winning it. This video is not sponsored at all. I want to be completely clear about that. I'm just looking at devices I find interesting and I enjoy playing around with new tech. This is kind of interesting because I think I'm going to be using something like this to teach my kids about crypto and the basic fundamentals of mining. So just to see if they're interested in that. Crypto, I believe, is going to be a huge part of the financial system. And for me, letting my kids understand the basics of crypto, I think is important. And that's what I'm using the device for. The company that's selling it is called Bitronics, and I believe they're out of Spain. Okay, so here is the site and we'll jump over into the shop. And this is the only device that they have. It's the Nerd Miner version two. It's the miner kit, I go select options. And you can get different options here. If you go in the list, you can choose the color that you want. I picked the orange one because uh, it's Bitcoin, but uh, you can pick whatever color you want. So you have the option for assembled. Uh, you have the Bitronics kit. And then you can just buy the case only if you already have the device. So I went with the Bitronics kit. They have standard black and translucent blue. When I ordered it, it took about two and a half weeks to get here. I'm in Canada. I had to pay shipping, which was an additional $30. And then there was duty. Duty was about 20 bucks. So consider that by the time you actually get the device in hand, it's just under $100. If you're interested in it, you don't have to buy it from the site. You can get it in a lot of different places like AliExpress and Amazon. I'll put some links in the description below. This is an open source miner. The code is posted on GitHub. Uh, that's what I'm going to be using it if you want to make modifications or do other, anything to it. The interface, the face that you're looking at right now, um, there's multiple different displays that you can have and you can customize it. So everything for this device is on GitHub. You can easily download it. It's all open source and go ahead and configure it to your preference. One cool thing about this is it's USB powered. So it takes only one watt of power and it's powered by USB-C. You can virtually plug that into anything. It's just one watt. The device can be easily configured. I'm going to be configuring it with my phone. You just connect to it via Wi-Fi. Okay, so I have the LilyGo device right over here. And what I'm going to be doing before I get it uh, inside the case is I'm going to configure it and have it set up. Just as a comparison, if you want to know the actual size of this, I have um, a mouse right over here. This is a standard Logitech mouse and this is the device. So it's not very big. It's actually quite small in size. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in to my PC. There is a USB-C port right over here. So I have a USB-C cable uh, that I'll just plug in and it automatically boots up there. And it gives me the default SSID, and that is Nerd Miner AP, and the password is Mine Your Coins. So that's all the default stuff. I'm sure I can change that when I'm setting it up. There's a QR code as well that I can scan, and uh, let's see what happens. There is an instruction sheet somewhere, but yeah. You know. We'll just skip that part. The setup is pretty straightforward. Once you scan the QR code, you're going to get the Wi-Fi manager, which you can click on the configure Wi-Fi. From here, you're going to select your local Wi-Fi network, which it's going to connect to, and that's where it's going to mine from. It automatically is going to be using the CK pool for solo mining. The default port information is in there. All you have to do is put in your Bitcoin address. Save that information. You get the screen letting you know that everything has been saved, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I'm seeing right now, and it is already connected to the network. Uh, you can see a little bit of a hash rate right here, nothing impressive, uh, but it's already connected and it's doing what it's supposed to do. So what I'm going to do now is going to go ahead and I'm going to install this in the case so you can see the final product. So here is the 3D printed case. There's not a whole lot to it. It's pretty much plug and play. It's designed to look like an ASIC miner. It has honeycomb venting on one side and then it has the other side where you can insert the display. It comes with a couple of these buttons. These buttons actually did not fit correctly in my case. Um, they're a little too big, which is too bad. When they're installed, you'll be able to access these two buttons by pushing them. Unfortunately, they didn't fit properly for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and assemble it anyway. This fan that is supplied with it is really for cosmetics. It does work, uh, but this device does not get hot at all. So I'm just going to quickly put it together so you can see what it looks like. Everything's complete. Here's the finished product, and I think it looks pretty sharp. So that's how you do it. That's how you set it up. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you thought the video was helpful, smash the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.